so you are in the market for a new one wheel, but not just any one wheel, but the flagship model, the one wheel GT. Doesn't matter if you're coming from the older models such as the Pint XR, Pint X, or you're completely new into this field and you just want the best of the best, you've come to the right spot because in today's video, we are gonna give you five reasons on why you should get the one wheel GT and stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a bonus reason on why you should get the GT that no one else has really talked about. Okay, so reason number one on why you should get the one wheel GT is simply the range. With a one wheel pint ranging from six to eight miles on a full charge, one wheels have come a long way and now we're seeing 20 to 32 miles of range on one single charge sometimes even more depending on your weight and how you ride. But this can only be seen on the one wheel GT. And sure, you can mod your old models like the XR and put a different battery in it and get amazing range. But if you just wanna buy one wheel straight out of the box and you want the most range, the GT would be your best bet. With the increase in range, the one wheels have actually become a practical daily commuter. Whether you need a vehicle to get you from point A to point B, such as home to work, or you need something to get you into the city, to the grocery, stores, whatever it is, the one wheel GT is actually dependable and you will not have any range anxiety. Range anxiety meaning you're not worried about going somewhere because now you don't have to worry about, oh, will I make it back home? With the GTs, you will have enough range for the whole day. I've owned my GT for about two months now and have ridden about ah, 200, 300 miles on it. Not that much compared to like some of the more extreme riders out there, but I say I put a decent amount on you know, for it being my first one. And I have never run into the issue of, will I have enough range to make it home? I've even gone on rides with my other friend who has a one wheel and he's really cut it close from being like 30% and having to go back home, which was like another five miles, but he made it, no issues. I think he got back home with 20%, 15%. So yeah, I've never had an issue of range anxiety, never had to worry about not making it somewhere. And for me, the biggest reason on getting the GT was because I live out in West Philly and my whole thing was I wanted something that can get me to the other side of Philly comfortably and get me all the way back with time to ride for fun in between. Usually cities are pretty small. It actually takes longer to drive through cities rather than walking or biking sometimes due to traffic. And with the one wheel, super easy to make it from one side of Philly to the other side and back with no issues. So yes, reason number one for getting the GT is easily the range. What is one reason why somebody should buy the GT? Definitely the range. Um, like we're about to go on like a 20 mile group ride right now. I don't even have my charger with me because I know that I'm gonna make it all the way there, all the way back without having to charge. Like everyone on the XR or Point, Point X is gonna have to charge halfway down. Now, piggybacking off reason number one, we're going to reason number two, which is transportation. Like I mentioned before, the GT is an actual means of transportation now. I've used my GT many times to take a spontaneous trip to the grocery store when I'm craving a random snack instead of walking or driving because driving in the city sucks. My favorite use in transportation is actually going into the city to hang out with my friends because normally driving into the city would be a reason for me not to go out because parking in the city sucks. It's usually never free. And if you try to find a spot, you have to worry about meters and parking tickets. With the GT, you can go through any streets you want. You can avoid all the traffic. You don't have to worry about parking and it's fun. Like that's the biggest part. It's just fun to go through this the city and whatnot. So reason number two on why you should get the GT is because now transportation is a viable method. All right, so the one reason why someone should buy a one wheel is just the ability to appreciate your surroundings when you're just riding correction when you're floating on this beautiful machine called the one wheel gt i just glide i see things i see structures i'm appreciating my surroundings i haven't worried about the range of where i'm trying to go there's no experience like it so i love it now reason number three on why you should get the gt is exploring your city i didn't realize how impactful this was to me but ever since i've gotten my one wheel gt i've explored more of my city in the past two months than i did the past four years that i've lived here which is crazy to say because i thought i saw saw it all, you know, for living here for so long. But I was really tied down to car routes and maybe a run here or there. But now with the GT, I can travel anywhere through the city I want as long as there's roads. And it's fun to go through these paths, sidewalks, alleys, whatever. And the craziest thing I've learned about my city, about Philadelphia, is that it is a very bikeable and runner friendly city. I just never realized how walkable and bikeable my city was until I got a reason to use those routes and bike lanes. And it's pretty cool. So yes, reason number three on why you should get a GT is because you're gonna 
gonna explore your city more than you ever have and it'll be a good time. Reason number four on why you should get a one-wheel GT, it's one of my favorite reasons, is because the community is just amazing. Granted, this does apply to all one wheels, any one wheel owner, they are awesome people, especially with the GT. If you're gonna be out riding on the road and you see another one wheel, especially if you see another one wheel GT, you're gonna make eye contact and instantly you're gonna be friends. I've actually made a really cool new friend recently, strictly on the fact that he was riding a GT while I was riding a GT. We connected and instant click. You'll be surprised at actually how many other one wheelers are out there in your city that you never knew existed. But now that you own one of these very cool vehicles, you just joined a very tight-knit community that's got each other's back and they like to have fun. I actually just participated in one of my city's group rides and it was fun. Slight caveat, I know online you might run into some negativity on the one wheel forums. For the most part, those people are usually keyboard warriors where it's easy to be negative behind the screen and on the keyboard. But in person, I actually haven't met anyone yet that had anything negative to say about Future Motion and the GT and their whole deal and ghosting issues, all the quality control. So I do support the company, I understand why they do what they do. And that's coming from someone that tinkers with everything they have, my cars, my one wheels and things like that. I'm a business owner, so I understand. I just adapt. If I can't fix it, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I know a lot of people have complaints about the software, the firmware, and tire being out of round, but I have not really had any issues with my GT at all. Everyone has been very understanding of what's going on and how hard it is to launch a new product. And even myself being a receiver of one of the DOA boards, the dead on arrival, I was pretty bummed, not gonna lie, especially for it being one of my first one wheels. So we unboxed everything yesterday and I was really excited. The board looks great, but unfortunately we ran into a problem. I was one of the unlucky few who received a DOA board, which stands for dead on arrival. Basically it does not turn on. I tried everything, reached out to them they were pretty responsive basically i gotta send it back in and let them fix it so goodbye one wheel hopefully we will see you soon I will say that after I received a working one with no issues, it has been one of like the best things that I've gotten. I put all of my friends on the one wheel just so that they can experience this joy and so that they can see how fun it is. And so hopefully they get one too so that we can start riding together because the next best thing about riding a one wheel is riding it with your friends. So reason number four on why you should get the GT is because the community is great. You're gonna make a bunch of new friends and it's, it's really fun to ride with other people. Well, no matter what model you get, you get this all unlocked with it, which is instant friends and hanging out on the weekends and you know drinking beer in the park and can't beat that. Okay, and the fifth reason why you should get the GT is because it's fun to ride. Riding the GT has brought me so much joy this past two months. Any day it's nice outside, I am gonna take that opportunity to get out of the room, go outside, get some fresh air, take in the sun, feel the breeze against your face and just ride. It's hard to describe how simple this is, but this feeling of floating, you can't really replicate it. There are a lot of other riders in the community who have sworn by how much the one wheel has helped with their mental health because by getting them out of the house, getting sunlight, vitamin D, and just floating out there, it puts a smile on your face that you can't get elsewhere. It's also a great tool to just take a break from whatever you're doing, go outside and clear your mind. I think that's one of the best parts because once you're out there floating, nothing else matters. It's just you and your board floating through the air and it's it's a great experience. So if that fifth reason on why you should get a GT is simply because it's fun, it's gonna put a smile on your face and you're just gonna have a good time. If you don't like floating, enjoying the good times that will come with this, then don't buy one. That's the number one reason. But if you like having fun, get one, baby. You know what I mean? Now, if you made it this far, thank you, first of all. Hopefully you liked all those five reasons. I think they're great reasons on why you should get the GT and just the one wheel in general. Anyway, since we made it this far, let me give you a bonus reason on why you should get the GT that not a lot of people talk about. And that reason is it is a great filmmaking and photography tool. So I am personally a professional freelance photographer, videographer here out in Philadelphia, and I've used the GT a lot recently for my shoots. My favorite example is when I was doing a bunch of grad shoots recently on a college campus. I was here at Temple University. What I would do is set up my off-camera flash setup, light stand, softbox, flash. After every time we finish at a location and we're moving to the next location, and 
instead of carrying it or breaking it down, I'm just gonna pick it up, get on my GT, and ride to the next location. This puts a lot of eyes on you, but it does make you stand out, and I've gotten a lot of comments from other photographers at the time where they're like, wow, that's innovative. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And the other use case for having the one wheel on the filmmaking side, if you are a camera operator and you want even more smooth movements, have your camera on your gimbal, first of all. That already gives you one source of stabilization. But now that you're on a one wheel, you can completely eliminate all the walking bounces you normally would when you're operating a gimbal with just a fluid riding movement. Adding that with the already awesome stabilization from your gimbal, you're gonna get a very smooth shot. The possibilities for that are kinda up to your imagination. Those are two use cases on why I think it's a great filmmaking and photography tool. So with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are in the market for a one wheel, I do recommend the GT, depending on your budget and what your needs are. I'll basically say that if you want the most range and never have to worry about range anxiety, the GT is easily your best bet. Pretty safe too, like they have more power on it, pushback is good, all this mumbo jumbo that you might not know of if you're completely new to the one wheel scene, but it's worth it. But with all good things, there are some negatives that need to be talked about, and I will be covering that in another video, so make sure you're subscribed to watch that video when it comes out. Thank you guys for watching this video to the end, and if you're looking to watch another video that you didn't know you wanted to watch, then check out one of these two videos here, and thank me later. Alright, thank you, peace.